video, I'm going to show you how to sharpen a double hollow ground knife. These are the three main sharpening tools that I use. I have a 600 grit diamond stone, a fine grain India stone, and a ceramic stick. Depending on what you need to do, I might start at the very beginning with a diamond stone, or I might just hone the knife with a ceramic stick. While I'm making a reed, I oftentimes use the ceramic stick multiple times to keep the blade honed. And every month or so, I might use the India stone just to sharpen the blade up a little bit. And every few months, I go all the way back to the diamond stone and regrind the knife from beginning. So I'm left-handed, so that means this side is going to be the scraping edge for me, where I scrape out that way. So we're going to call this the front. And the side that faces me is the back. So Usually what we're going to do is we're going to have a burr on the scraping side that's just like a little bit of a hook that goes out towards the scraping side. But to regrind a knife, we're actually going to make that burr go on the other side, on the back side. So we'll start with the diamond stone and reverse the burr so that it's on the back side. As I'm swiping the knife across the diamond stone, I'm lifting it at a small angle. So maybe just that much. If you were measured, I would think it's supposed to be about 15 to 20 degrees. If you start doing it at 45 degrees, that's just going to be too much. Lying it flat is not going to be enough. But I found that for scraping oboe reeds, if you have your knife finished at 15 to 25 degrees, maybe even up to 30 or so, that's an ideal angle for the bird to be to grab the cane as it's scraping. And I'm not applying too much pressure. I mean, you don't want to have to strain yourself in doing this. It shouldn't hurt your wrist afterwards. So when I first use the diamond stone, I'm using maybe a medium pressure going forward and then a medium pressure also going back. So like I said before, I'm lifting the knife at a small angle, like 15 degrees if I, have, if I were to guesstimate it. And I'm realigning the burr so that it is on the back side of the knife. That is the side that is towards you when you're scraping. Medium pressure going forward, medium pressure going back. And you'll start to see metal shavings come off. You're going to repeat this process until you can actually feel the burr with your finger. And you should be able to run your fingertip across the burr. You want to try to apply equal pressure to the middle and the sides. If you start to notice the burr is a little bit stronger on the sides, just try to put more pressure on the middle, maybe reposition your hands as you're sharpening it. Or vice versa, if you start to feel more of the burr in the middle, maybe try pressing down with the sides a little bit more, or try to reposition your hands closer to the edges. Ultimately, you want this blade to be straight across. You don't want there to be any curves to it or any divots. And then once you do that, where the blade is clearly straight ac uh, across, and you can run your fingernail over the burr, and that is that pronounced, flip it, and you're going to redo the burr on the scraping side of the reed. I'm going to hold the knife at the same angle, and be careful doing that because your sense of perception is just a little bit different, so you might think you're holding the knife at the same angle as you did when you're scraping it towards you, but just try to pay attention and Make sure to really check yourself to make sure you're holding it at the right angle. I'm still going to use a medium pressure going forward and going back. And I'm basically going to do the same process that I just did when I was putting the burr on the back side of the knife. Eventually, you're going to be able to run your fingernail across the burr on this side too. Once you can feel the burr with your fingernail across the front side of the knife, that's when I move to my India stone. So my diamond stone has a rougher grit than this. So this is my medium grit stone that I use. And this is what I start with if I get a new knife in the mail. If I get a new knife in the mail, I don't go straight to the diamond stone. It's probably sharp enough that I can just skip right to this step. And this step I probably do more often than using the diamond stone, just because it doesn't take off as much metal as a diamond stone, so it can help make your knives last a little bit longer. So as you can see, my knife is just a little bit longer than the stone is wide. 
So I want to make sure that the entire blade gets hit by the India stone. And there's a few ways we can do this. We can go in the cross pattern like that. We can do small semicircles or small circles. Or we can just kind of go like that back and forth. This is how I normally do it at first. And then I go to the circle pattern. I'm holding the blade at the same angle as I did on the diamond stone. So that's, if I'm gonna guess, 15 to 25 degrees. And I should see a little bit of metal coming off, but not as much as on the diamond stone.